morning, Virgo. Jackie Tellman here. This is your general reading. This is for the week of ooh, April 10th, 2023. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, please remember these are general readings with you. Take with you what resonates, leave does not behind for someone else. JackieTellman.com if you're seeking a personal reading. Now, not only is everything you want within reach, but now this is the week that you do actually get what you want. Fear and worries are leaving, and since there's a lot of scattered energy around you, this is kind of that happy-go-lucky, anxious, excited feeling, okay? So it's not a bad thing. You are putting a stop for someone that is using and or taking advantage of you. There is a Sagittarius here that may resonate with you, uh, as well as a uh, outing. Some of you, date night, date night. Hello, GNW. So let's see what we have going on here. Sorry about that. See what we have going on here. Virgo, you've had a couple of cards that have jumped out so far. And we start out with the devil card energy of some intensity coming up in the love line for you. Okay. And right beside that, we have the seven of wands. This says it's your time to shine. This week of April 10th, this is about um, working on you, being true to yourself. So what we're looking at here basically is... You've been doing some kind of journey inward. You've been doing some meditation. You've been doing some healing. Some of you may have even been doing therapy for all I know, but it is paying off for you guys. Okay. And for whatever reason, perhaps some shoe shopping, I'm seeing some new shoes. Okay. The world as in the world is your oyster. Okay. You're holding everything. You're on top of the world. We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles coming in with some good energy here. That Three of Pentacles says that you're uh, working on your money. You're working on expanding. Some of you guys may have a side hustle. Some of you may be thinking about starting a, a side hustle. The letter Y is jumping out here. That may mean something to some of you. But yeah, definitely working on growing what you already have, what you have uh, worked hard for. We have the chariot coming in, center your reading, getting what you want, getting what you desire, rushing in and when you least expect it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The world and the chariot. Some of you, I really want to throw out some intensity and love. And some of you, my singles, be warned of a one night stand. Yep, I said it. So know what you're dealing with. And some of you... Dream catchers, perhaps you're buying dream catchers, making them something to do with dream catchers, or perhaps you're doing a dream journal. We also have the Six of Cups coming up, reuniting, reconnecting with someone from the past. I'm going to say a childhood friend uh, is what I'm saying. Nothing of a romantic nature. I'm not connecting this to your love life, but a childhood friend. Um, this could be the outing that I saw. You may be connecting with more than one friend. It could be a good group of you getting together, maybe a high school reunion, something of that effect, or maybe the era of high school getting together with high school friends. Now, with that, we also have, I love it, the fool. The fool says you might be doing some day travel, but you're traveling lightly. You're carefree, happy, aloof. You've got your little dog with you. Um... You're getting ready to jump into something with both feet. What you're jumping into, you're ready. Because there's the Ten of Wands that says you've overcome your obstacles. How beautiful is that? You've created a new path, a right path, a better path. Some of you, new residents, maybe you've already moved or you're looking at moving or purchasing a home. You're welcome, Miss Jean. And we have the Five of Swords. You're guarded and you're defensive. Let that guard down. Retract the cat claws. No sense in it. All right. Let's continue on with these messages. All right. We have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords comes in with a loss of sleep. It is because you are very high energy. It's not because you're overthinking things. So a little bit different there for my Virgos. A little shift in energy. We have that death card energy, endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. One door closes, one door opens, happens all at one time. Feeling a bit bajiggity you are, and you know what? It's a good thing. It really is. 
And we have the Three of Wands. Waiting for your ship to come in. Taking steps for your ship to come in. I like it. I'm liking the shift of energy from our Virgos. Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay? That's a Leo energy. But it does show me that you're being true to yourself. And I like that energy. Hi, Miss Dorothy. You've got an awesome reading going on here, my dear. Center of the reading, we come in with the lovers. New, my friends, this is something new or relatively new. Okay, I want to throw that out there. And we have the hair font. What you've been manifesting, uh, love and friendships is what I'm seeing. But it's what you've been manifesting, which you will continue to manifest. So keep this, you know, thoughts and energy. Keep it going and keep it positive. I like what I'm working with here. We have the Two of Wands. Two of Wands making future travel plans. Thank you traveling with family or a family member, but it looks very upbeat. I want to throw that out there. And on the Ten of Wands, I also want to say very, very short notice. Ooh, we have a tower card moment. Yep, that happened. And we have the Five of Swords. What is the Five of Swords? Five of Swords comes with the Page of Cups. Could be dealing with the Pisces energy. Unexpected offer of love. Let's give you a bonus one. Okay, that's Five of Swords clarified with the Five of Swords. Bonus card says, retract the cat claws. Now, I am not being indicated to go to an extended, but with that said, I am going to clarify this tower card for my Virgos. Let's see what we have here. Ace of Wands, indicating the time frame is now. It is the week of the 10th. There is an emperor energy here. Oh, there's something new here. Keys to something new. And we have, okay, the high priestess. The, um, the thinking card, the overthinking. Hmm. Okay, for the best I can pick up here without going into an extended or personal reading, I think the tower card moment is coming the week of the 10th. And it's coming out of a place of jealousy. Someone jealous over you. But that's what I've got going on for you guys. So, hey, Yvonne. Thank you guys for joining me. Not going to the extended on this one. Virgo, you look good. Uh, logging off, coming right back. Libra. Libra, you are up next. Don't forget. Frost Watchers, welcome on all my videos. So, see you in just a moment. Bye.